We gotta do our. I guess we gotta do our 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 famous. Uh, I have no. Right, well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But, I know. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Also, I have Dylan. What you said the last time. Oh, like queued up. I no. Well, I just like I wrote it down. I like transcribed. Your, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember intro. what I said. All right. So you want to just wing it then? We'll do the slide and then you'll hit it. I don't want yeah, you to I think I, I think I remember what I said, and I don't right. want to say it out loud because I want to do it. Yeah, method. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that is that method doing it for the first time? No, yeah, no often, practice. Like method actors will often like never read their script out loud. They'll just read it to themselves like a million times, and like the first, and like ideally, the first time that they ever say it out loud is when they're what? filming. No rehearsal. All right, let's do the intro. <laughs> okay. You ready, Allie? I can't. I can't. All right, here we go. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Go down more. I can't. You're just sitting there. <laughs> I can't go down anymore. <laughs> All right, it's All right, fine. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to B's Company. Uh, the only way you can ever hang out with the three of us. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to B's Company, your beekeeper podcast. And the only way you can ever hang out with the three of us. I'm Wally, alongside the two greatest musicians in the world, Dylan Marks and Ali Levine. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> It always Finally, begs I can that say response. It to you. <laughs> so we'll switch it around each time. Allie will do it next time. Cool. Well, good. It's good to be back on B's company. Yeah. Well, and I see you're, you're wearing the same shirt. As what? <laughs> As what you were wearing before. When did you see him? Uh, did, did, did you want me to? Did you want me to? It, did you want me to I just assumed you had changed. <laughs> I mean, for the li- for the listener, we just got off another podcast, which is why we know what Dylan is wearing I mean, earlier. Today. I'm in the middle of a work day here. You know, it's like when you're at the office, do you just like change outfits at 1 p.m.? <laughs> yes. Wow, what if Wally. you were sweaty? I've been having to change outfits at work because I'm recording Foley and... I have to eat, wear the quietest clothes that I have. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I showed up one day and I was wearing like these like gray sort of swim short shorts that I wear that are like, they're basically shorts that are really soft, like, you know, whatever. And uh, I like showed up and we like started recording. He's like, whoa, 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 what's that noise? And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm just like walking in these boots or whatever. And he's like, ah, oh, it's your shorts. And I was like, no way, these are like my soft shorts. And I like did it and I was like, yeah. Um, and so, so I ended up wearing sweatpants. I wear basketball shorts that I got from street cleaner that are like the quietest clothes that I have. And they've been working. I feel like sweatpants would be the quietest. I think some people wear sweats or like yoga pants, you know, because sweats will still move like against your own skin. So it's like, you'll hear that. You know what I mean? Unless they're like you should, tight. You should tight. wear the beekeeper yoga plant plants i would love to wear the beekeeper yoga plants <laughs> but he ran out of seeds um um <laughs> <laughs> all right now Allie, you um <laughs> what are you drinking you'll never guess green tea Ooh, oolong <laughs> it's green tea <laughs> yes <laughs> but there's something different about it it's got Kratom in it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there's honey. No. Come on, Dylan. There's uh, a dash of lemon. <laughs> a squirt, it's if you will. Decaffeinated green tea. Oh. Decaffeinated yeah, green tea. Wait. Paddle yeah. decaffeinated? Don't you fucking say it. Don't say it, Dylan. 
<laughs> Are you looking you up say, if you can green? decaffeinate green tea? <laughs> no. Uh, you've said, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up our first segment. Dylan has said oh. in the past, isn't green tea already caffeinated? We, we don't no, need to relitigate this. I understand it has caffeine. <laughs> Um, as far as first segments go, I was going to see if you guys wanted to just do a no one likes us follow up. Oh, since we just got off the horn with the no one likes us podcast. Yeah. I thought there was a couple out. of things we could talk about that happened. Sure. I am post, so insulted. Okay, really? I just Was it because of the verses? Verses? The verses game where we like verses to different bands. Oh, no, I, I thought it was a really good podcast. I, I was happy with it. That's actually, yeah. that's why it inspired me to want to do this one. This yeah. one. This one. I it was super fun. fun. Yeah, they were yeah. great. I really yeah. liked, something I really appreciated is they directed questions to people specifically. That was so nice. That's a very important distinction to make, especially on Zoom. I think he kind of picked up on it you because realized. at first we were just like, uh. We did, we did a lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one is clearly your, yours. Allie, uh, Allie, take it uh, away. He asked like, about the music video, so this one we all know. Uh, yeah, the, the way I figure it, if, if there's one beat of silence, it should default to Allie. <laughs> so it's like, if we've been silent for even one second, Allie, it's your job to jump in. So, so you're, you're, you're adopting the, the 1998 Chicago Bulls approach, which was give the ball to Michael Jordan. I, I can, I'm good with that. I appreciate <laughs> that. That's very nice of you to say. Um, yeah, I was but, also going to no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was, I was going to say, I, I really like the, the directing. I feel like every podcast we should do, we should be like, oh yeah. And by the way, like, just tell us. Just go, just go down the barrel. Yeah, but also they, you can't tell them what to do. <laughs> they they inspired the uh, the return of the couch slide. Yeah, and the return of the bees company <laughs> podcast at all. Although yeah, we mentioned on the last podcast too. Uh, yeah, um, sorry, I didn't know what he meant at first for the I longest time. The couch slide. Yeah, yeah, I had no I idea. <laughs> I was imagining like a like a a footloose like sliding in this like to the couch like hey I was like when I did knew you do it, that? it was like I knew it was like something like that. I but. thought he meant in one of our episodes, Dylan. You do a like a a funny thing behind the couch, your couch. You remember you like did like one oh, of those like funny yeah. gags. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah, maybe yeah. he meant yeah. that. Or then I thought maybe yeah. he meant our photo shoot on the couch. I really couldn't put it together. And then Dylan, I saw your face like light up as you realized what it was and I was still lost and I was just glad that someone was on board. We were just like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I was sorry, dear Natalie. at the, like to work, like eventually I understood, but it did take me a minute to remember. <laughs> um, also, uh, I going back to the sort of this thing, I was going to say, maybe we need to develop a series of hand signals of like, uh, you know, um, like, all right, Dylan, uh, you know, this one's yours, you know, or like, yeah. you know, um, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, Allie, uh, I think you'll take this question. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Did that work? Yeah, it worked. What did it mean, though? That means stop talking, Dylan. I was gonna say a light. That, mean, that means that means drop it. We we're gonna give it, give each other the light. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I think we need to punch up our taking the world by swarm response. I wanted us to do it all in unison. You, I mean, that's what you I mean the most, the most no, successful answer I'm not saying, answer I'm not the, saying the words. Interview. I'm not saying the words themselves. I'm saying the delivery. Yeah, they lost it. Yeah, that was great. I, the, that I was, was going to do like a oh, metal. Oh, oh, I was oh, going to oh. do like a metal. Yeah. Like, we're taking the wall by swarm. Yeah, that's it's like, like that. Or we need to be like, all right, ready, guys? Three, two, one. And then we all stagger because of the latency. We just, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no, I got it. 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 Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll go we'll go one by one saying a word but we'll like hold the word out for a long time until you hear like you know what i mean so watch 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 it'll go me then it'll go ally and then it'll go wally okay and just All finish right. it up okay yeah but 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 hold out the word <laughs> this is just a guy already oh my god okay. this is doomed 
We are taking. taking. <laughs> Wait, okay, <laughs> not syllables, not syllables. The word is well, the you word. should say we. Uh, you said we. Uh, we are, isn't it? Well, <laughs> in in the song Beekeeper. I we are. Clearly, it's we are. We are taking, taking the world the by swarm. Right, right, okay, we are taking. We are. We are. Taking, we are or we are. We are. My bad. So you're got, is you it got, going you got, to me and then okay, me then Wally after Dylan. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you're, <laughs> yeah. So so Al, you're taking. Right? Taking what? The world by swarm. So, so <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's we're, we're. You're taking. I'm the right, and we go like that. World by swarm. That's oh, okay. so Every, fucking so lame. We should a, just say it at the same time. <laughs> so fucking lame, Dylan. It just no. I, it <laughs> was a good. That's all it was we a good can't idea. say it at the same time because we're on Zoom. It just. I think it would sound funnier if we all said it at the same time. Oh yeah. my god, I got it. I got it. And I know this sounds so stupid, but I can't do it. But if you guys go off of me, if I count you in. Technically, if you're both listening to me, you can simultaneously say we're taking the world by swarm. Mm -hmm. But then only two, one person doesn't do it. Okay, do a hand signal and then we'll start. But what about him? He's not going to sing it. You're just well, going to conduct. Let's just, see, let's just see if it works it. at all. Let's just see if it works at all. Let's just see if it works at all. <laughs> we're taking right, the world by swarm. So you're going to say, <laughs> you'll just say normally we're taking the world by swarm. Just but up, but up, but up. We're taking the world by swarm. But one, up, but up, but up. two. Okay, Sorry. ready? Wait, wait, four count? And it'll be like one, two, three, four. We're taking the world by swarm. Bop. One, two, three, four. We're, we're taking, taking the world, the world by, by swarm. By swarm. That, <laughs> but, but wait, 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 wait here's the thing. Here's the thing. That works. It can't be, we're taking the world by swarm. You know what I mean? It can't be that. It's got to be yeah, one, yeah, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. three, uh, yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, 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 we're taking yeah. the world by swarm. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll do like a silent count in because I can't count us give you a count in on a We're podcast. So okay, ready? I'll just, I'll just go like a, I'll just go like a, We're taking the world. I'll, I'll go. I'll just I'll like just go swarm. like. I'll just go like that. All right, I'll go like that. Ready? That's a three count. I have no idea. Yeah, well, yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be subtle. Ready? When I when I go boobs, I'm gonna go. Boobs. We're taking like that. The, wait. So do we go ready? on this? Ready? Do we go on this or one beat after that? After. So it goes one, two, three. We're taking the world by swarm. I hit my mic. No, like. <laughs> uh, uh, we're taking sure, the world sure. by swarm. Do you like that? Ready? We're taking. <laughs> I was this swallowing my tea. <laughs> we're, we're taking, taking the, the world, world by, by right, swarm. <laughs> oh, we got it. That was it. You talked in the middle. From my perspective, it didn't sound like you guys got this. Let's try again. <clears throat> We're, We're taking, taking the, the world <laughs> by swarm. <laughs> Wally was laughing. Well, it was like, it, it was was like the, 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 the interviewer is going to be like, hey, what, what, how'd you get your name? And we're going to be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah, taking oh, yeah. the world by <laughs> I feel like right now we're trying to find the solution to something that isn't a problem. Let's just no, but, leave. No, it. No, okay, but here's the it's thing. Great. If one person is going to do it, it's got to be with some zazz. It can't be yeah, like okay, it sounds like okay. a like a scripted thing. I we're taking the scripted. world by storm. Like Sorry, storm? storm? <laughs> 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 Take two, take two. <laughs> Storm. <laughs> it's because we're taking the world by swarm. Well, that's, what, that's, that's, that's what Beast, Co Beast Company is for us to figure this stuff no, out. No, I like you know that we're hashing it's it. Recorded. It's good. I'm saying it's, it's not, not a problem. It's just we can, <laughs> we can, we just... can yash it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I should just, we'll do. hold on. Two seconds. Ah! Oh, that's the new. That's the new uh, couch bit. What? What Ali just? What Ali just did? Just left. What are you doing? What is this for? I'll I'm just, just quickly like since she talk. ran off. I'm just pulling up the, the talk to beekeeper email. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> How did the Beekeeper podcast go today? It went pretty well. Dylan started playing on his computer and Allie was like just playing guitar. <laughs> no, no. I'm... This is riveting YouTube content right here. <laughs> I, I'm, this is for the podcast. There's 0% chance we of this paused. being cut out. I'm telling you right now. I, I should just say, we're taking the world by storm. <laughs> I like to always have a guitar with you. Just you just gotta get it. Like as soon as yeah, they I'll ask the question, keep... grab the guitar. I'll just have. I'll do the podcast with the guitar in my lap, and then I'll when say, they ask, when the inevitable question we'll comes the up. World by <laughs> <laughs> eh? But also, uh, that song hasn't come out yet. It doesn't. So matter. they're just gonna be like. No, that's the good thing because yeah, then people will hear it. And no then, one will care. And then when they listen to the song, they'll be like, yeah. oh my God. They're going to be like, whoa, you should really put that in a song. And you'll be like, eh? hey, you ended your song with your slogan. <laughs> Which is literally what we did. <laughs> <laughs> also, I wanted to point out that I felt very, as at all the times that we pitted albums against each other on our podcast and as little as I knew about those bands and the songs and having you to like remind me what songs were what like I felt so under like qualified to be a part of the rankings in that in the majority of that game like when we got to municipal waste I could speak with some authority and that was about it (laughs) well possessed oh yeah I guess too yeah possessed for sure I I don't know possessed yeah yeah and I Sorry. I mean, I didn't in the the last question. I, I, you know, I've like heard ghoul. Yeah. And it like sounded like something I would like, but I've For never sure. like, I, I you know what. You guys have such a deep education on Iron Maiden and Judas Priest and King Diamond and Merciful Fate that like, I was just like, oh, I haven't, I, I you know, I like, I dropped out of that school. <laughs> well, it's easy when there's only like nine bands. You know what I mean? That like, you listen to, you mean? Yeah, like there's essentially just like nine yeah, or ten yeah. bands that I like know a shit ton about, and then it's yeah. like yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of metal that I'm like, For sure. I don't know that. Yeah, I do want to check out. I feel like I've heard of Toxic Holocaust. I just assumed they were a crossover thrash band that was of you know the same ilk as your Municipal Waste, etc. I'm gonna check them out. Yeah, I I always just find every time I like check out a a crossover band. It just goes from like riffs to like, there's no longer riffs and it's just like, you know, like, like more like of a punky, Mm. like it it stops becoming like every, every part of the song is like a cool Mm -hmm. part and just sort of like a, it crosses over Z crosses over too far into that. Yeah. Yeah. It it (laughs) doesn't cross over. Well, or it's, like, it's like no, because it's he's saying if it sits in metal in the thrash sort of over, it's supposed to be punk over. crossing over to metal. Yeah, but the punk is where it becomes Ramonesy, is my point. And yeah, so, when, so then when it, it doesn't cross, cross over, it doesn't cross back. Oh, it I never mean, it'll, over. It, it'll still be like metal ish, you know, maybe like with the drums or with the vocals, but <laughs> you know, I need I need cool riffs. <laughs> Yeah, Certainly. cool riffs. Certainly. And they have on to be my cool. desk. <laughs> By 8 a.m. Monday morning. You're coming in on a Sunday. <laughs> I threw my back out this morning trying to pick up my pants. Oh, that was this morning? It was this morning. Pick I didn't throw pants. it out, I guess. Okay, I actually have a question. What's the difference between pinching a nerve in your back and throwing your back out? Okay, my chiropractor <laughs> just... <laughs> Dr. Chris? Dr. Chris. Wait, not Dr. Ian. Wait, I, 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 did you look up the place? Because I have the place. You literally told me Dr. Chris and Dr. Ian in Point Loma. That's all you said. Wait, wait, wait. I know, What's but the answer I... to the question? Oh, yeah. Let's get, let's get to that. So <laughs> a pinched, like, I thought I had a pinched nerve, and I've had a pinched nerve in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> pinched nerve. <laughs> Um, because I usually get them like right here because guitar and everything for the listeners who's pointing to her shoulder can you not see (laughs) upper back (laughs) but but when we release this audio only 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so the pinch nerve, it, it it's usually like a more numb, mm. like you can't feel it. And it, it usually travels down oh, a limb, like completely, like you can feel tingling throughout your whole limb. Okay. And the thrown so, back? Huh? And, and a thrown back? Oh, uh, you didn't, I don't know, a thrown back. I, don't, that I, feel, like, I, I, feel, I feel like a pinched <laughs> I <didn't> nerve. <laughs> I feel like a you, pinched nerve is like an actual problem that is like, there is a nerve being pinched. And I feel like I've thrown my back out is just like broadly slaying like, I've hurt I'm my old. back in some way where I'm now like incapacitated. Yeah. You know, I, I think well, it's just sort of like what I you think call what you're having Wally is a muscle spasm. That is sort of what it felt like. Yeah. It was just, it's just like really tight and it kind of came out of nowhere and like, yeah, it's like right here in my back and uh, it's still there. It's like, I can move, but like <laughs> <laughs> I can move, I can move, <laughs> I can move and I can groove. Um, but, uh, I definitely feel it like occasionally, like, like I just like move sat it, up, move it. <laughs> uh, move it. And, uh, I feel it occasionally. Sorry, Allie, am I, uh, my oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just shaking my head in, dis- in disappointment because of Dylan's line. Oh, I, I like see. to move it, move it. Yeah. I think yeah. Wally was more referring to is why are you, uh, why are you on the phone during my texting. riveting, ta- uh, uh, story? My riveting talk. Because um, I need to get Wally his... Uh... Let me do that off mic. <laughs> yeah. We're in the middle of a show right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think of the rolly, the rolly things? Do you think they're good for you? The, like things with like spikes that are like a, an inverted tire or a the tiny things, long tire? Uh, I mean, there's ones that I've had physical therapists be like, these are good. Okay. You, like need the, to do, you big, should do a yeah. TENS unit. I don't know what that is. It's that electrical thing. It, it sends electric oh, uh, like the, current to your muscle. What are those things called that you stick on? Uh, those little pads? Thingy. Yeah, sticky thingy. Yeah. Um, they're, they're like, like pretty zzz, cheap zzz. online. You can get them. Mm, okay. But I would do that because you might do more more damage than good if you're trying to massage it out. Yeah. So. Cheyenne said to use the tennis ball. You can try that. Yeah, I might. Those are great if you're playing tennis. Oh, really? Is that like a controversial opinion, or is that pretty standard in tennis? No, I've always said best play to play, best way to play tennis with a tennis ball. Yeah, I'm all about pay to play tennis. <laughs> well, I think the pay to play <laughs> tennis promoters should be ashamed of themselves. They're so lazy. <laughs> yeah, it's like. How many times have you shown up at a tennis show and there's no flyers anywhere? There's no, you know, nobody's, you know, yeah. there's no supporting tennis bands. One of the tennis players is asking to borrow their racket from the other tennis player. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Which I blame on the promoter, of course. <laughs> Ali, I, I learned uh, Masquerade of Madness on guitar. Hell yeah. Yeah, the chorus is actually very cool. The audience wants to know uh, more. Who, who who wrote that song originally? That's the new King Diamond song. Um, <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is going on, Allie? What are you doing? Yeah, what's, Dylan, what's why are you Can you come to the back ground? to us? <laughs> You're like dropping back, shit in the middle of your sentence. What's going on here? All right, uh, it's the new King Diamond single where. Allie's learning the drums and oh. uh, mm-hmm. so I, I learned the guitar because we, we had a jam the other day where I was playing guitar. Are you going to start a cover band? No. Definitively just- not? Yeah. Yes. Never. I've tried multiple times to start a cover band. I think even, didn't we talk about it one time, Dylan? Doing like covers and playing at bars and stuff. <laughs> Uh, I think we briefly talked about it, but I tried to do that with Cameron Beamer like twice. And I always yeah, come yeah, to the conclusion. To like, you wanted to do like the wedding. Yeah. The wedding scene. Yeah. Because it's like good money, but I always come to the conclusion. It's just like all that work to play cover songs. What, what, what would you call your cover band? You have to have a working. I bet band. we had a name, but I can't remember. Hmm. 
The Machinery. No, that was our other band. No, I know. What other? All band? right, all right. That, that's a good game. Let's In all come school. up with. A, let's all come up with the name of our cover band, our fictional cover band that doesn't exist, and we are all the lead singer of it. So it's like this is your mm-hmm. band. Mm-hmm. Um, I always wanted to call a band Stillborg, but I guess it's not really like a cover band. No, all right. I don't think it's something better. I guess it's got to be derived from like the kind of covers you're doing, right? It has to have some tie-in. It can't just be like whatever. It's not just a band name. Yeah, my, All right, my, here, I mean. here's my cover band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it A Million Dreams. And here's why. Because I want people to look at that name and be like, that name is dumb, but I need to see them. And then they're blown away. By your covers? Yeah. By the quality of the covers. <laughs> yeah. Also, well, is that know. from something or did you just come up with it? I just wanted to get the ball rolling. You just like, okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> if you were doing covers of like a specific band or like a handful of bands, let's say, yeah. like you have a niche, right? You're not just covering and- the fucking world's worth of music. Like you're doing a sort of niche cover band, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think this is also, uh, Ali, we once talked about where I feel like I had like a fantasy mm-hmm. of, of, of doing a, a, like a band that covered the, like the nineties, yeah, uh, the house the like want to be my lover, like like night at the Roxbury like style kind of like you know. Is that, um, sorry, is that Spice Girls? You just uh, if you want to be my lover. No, want to be my lover by LeBeau. It's like ah, ah yeah, want to yeah. be my lover. Okay, and like, cool. A- and like Amber, like another night, another dream. So that's the uh, three eleven song. Amber is my color of your energy. Oh no, Amber is the uh, the artist. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also Real McCoy. That's the one that's like, uh, it's, got, it's got one of those like insane, like, like it starts off like a dance song, but then all of a sudden there's like a weird rap verse that like comes out of nowhere and it's like, mm-hmm. I'll meet you on the dance floor, going to put a dance floor. Like, like he just <laughs> going to put a dance floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so is this just going to be like you in a backing track or are you going to have like a live band? <laughs> what are you going to do? I think I think this is so old that I think at the at the time Justin was involved. Wow! So I think I was imagining that Justin would do a lot of the synths, and I was going to do bass guitar, and like we would like both Ugh. sing, and then have like drum I machines. I was gonna sing. And you, Ooh. as an afterthought, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned you were first earlier. Um. But yeah, but that was all, but it was all, I, I also wanted uh, Matt to like dance and like have like the oh, 90s yeah. abs. Um, <laughs> and is this a million dreams? No. What would that be called? Oh, you know what you could also do? No, that was called, that was called Pulse. 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 That's good. No one heard me. Pulse never yeah, been taken. You can be here in my arms. Waiting for tonight. <laughs> Uh, oh, also, uh, Wally, I think like a week ago, I sang that one song to you that's also on that album, which is the, Aww. where do you go? <laughs> My lovely. I thought that was like uh, Enrico Iglesias. Where do you like. go? Enrico. <laughs> Enrique Iglesias. Is that no. your, your cover band, Wally and Enrico Iglesias? Enrico Iglesias. And we do like, uh, like uh, Long Island versions of... Enrique Iglesias songs. So it's like, what does that mean? Re- like cousin Rico, you know? So it's like all like Italian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like long Island iced tea. Like yeah. you're all wasted. And like, I'm, I'm doing it like iced tea. So you'd be like, I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can take away the pain. Oh, I will stand by you forever. Maron. <laughs> By the way, give me another one of the Galama. <laughs> <laughs> Gabagu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is borderline. Uh, <laughs> I think I need to veer off. Yeah. This. <laughs> you know what's so funny is literally last night uh, at, at said, Domino's, this like random uh, guy who works there who's like really young, he's like 18 or something. He's like walking around and he's like not talking to anyone and he just kind of like turns to us and he just goes like, what's Gabagool? <laughs> and I was like, I know what that is. It's Coca Cola. It's just like a weird yeah. New Jersey accent version of it. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I was like, I would love to talk about Coca Cola right now. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. 
That's so funny. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, I hurt my back, and that's what that all came from. Shame. I sent you the chiropractor's information. Thank you. I'll check you it out. You can just text that number okay. that I sent you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And for the listeners at home, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Chris, Chris and Dr. Dr. Ian. Yeah. See, we did it in unison. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, okay. So I got it. When they say <laughs> uh, you take them over by swarm, you'll say, Allie will go, well, for those at home. And then that's our cue. Well, yeah, because that's what you said. And then you both then immediately said, Dr. Chris and Dr. whatever. So Dr. you're Ian. saying, Dr. Ian, <laughs> it's not for it's me, it's for the whatever. listeners. <laughs> he, didn't go to, he didn't go to four years of evil medical school to be called Mr. Mm-hmm. Austin Powers quotes on the program. Love it. <laughs> um, Dylan, did you say you had a, a something? Well, here's the thing. I can only access it on my phone right now. I can't access it. Um, but I have another game. We can just play that. We can just play another game. Sure. And for the uh, listeners at home. Home. We're take. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandma Allie reporting in. For the listeners at the home, listeners at home, we're taking the world to someone to open well, the window. Swarm. <laughs> what? what did I say? A weird. <laughs> Maybe there was a glitch when he when he said it. Yeah, but it sounded you're like put it at home. <laughs> <laughs> but you're supposed to come in after I say. It for but the also, listeners. I don't understand it. What do you mean for the people at home? It's for the people. Uh, it's for everyone. <laughs> I was yeah. <laughs> no, for the it's people, fine. we are taking the world by storm. Yeah, with with, with Zaz. <laughs> with, to for use the your people, words. By the people. We need to be like, nope. we're taking the world by swarm. Oh, I'll say we're taking the world, and then you guys say by swarm. So we'll all say Ooh. it together. Mm, okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the world. Good. By swarm. By swarm. <laughs> Let's do it again. Hey guys, I'm going to set us up. Hey guys, I have to ask you this. How did you get the name beekeeper? Well, funny. <laughs> you asked. Because. No, no, no. The whole point is that we don't do that. We just come straight out. <laughs> well, <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tee it up again, Wally. <laughs> All right, guys. I know you get asked this a lot, but I just have to also ask what everyone else has asked. So what's that? What? <laughs> we're good. How we're did good. you come? How did you come up with the name Beekeeper? We're taking. <laughs> oh, no. We're taking the world by, by swarm. swarm. Why it sounds like we're guns? pitching like a, a product. I feel like I'm Casey Kasef taking the world by swarm. <laughs> what if we go by swarm? And then we go. Or, or what if, what if Ali, you go like, we're taking the world. And then Wally goes, by swarm. <laughs> I like that. And I like have a little rattle. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bring up on, on the, on the previous oh, podcast, the oh, shame. <laughs> on the, the, the podcast music. before last, when we were talking about the music video, I was gonna bring up the Wally in the little bonnet. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. The thing that we everybody wanted to do that we couldn't get into the video. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because I, I was like, a lot of stuff had been cut out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and we definitely have footage of that somewhere. <laughs> footage. Um, like we had to cut yeah, it we out. Shot it was that just a scene. joke. Yeah, yeah, that was the joke. <laughs> um, but also just going back real quick to the delivery of the Taking the World by Swarm. I think, we, uh, Allie, I like to go, because we're taking the world, and then me and Dylan go, by Swarm. Yeah, because you guys are the singers. Instant veto. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the fucking top room. <laughs> How about you say no we're taking the world? They're going to be like, oh, we're Vito. taking the world. And then, no, because it's going to be like, we're taking the world 
And then, sorry, what, and then what did you just like? Sorry, you oh, know yeah, yeah, no, I know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, well, we, do the, we do, so the, the, low, we do the low, and Allie does the high. So we go, and she goes, or whatever she does. Forget okay, it. Let's do it. We're <laughs> taking the world. Right. Okay, all right, let's try. No, no, We're no, we got, you need world. to give us, <laughs> give us a little more time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right. We're taking the world. Bye, Swarm. Oh, I thought I was supposed to. <laughs> Dylan, you didn't me. even do it. I know. It, it, <laughs> like, it, everything was. It, it froze. Because we're taking the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you should ask. <laughs> My old friend, Merle. <laughs> um. Great. Well, oh, I'm is glad this we Uncle to- Fasty? Has Uncle Fasty come to come to visit us? <laughs> oh yeah, the new character for the beekeeper verse. <laughs> Uncle Fasty. Uncle Fasty. It's it's well, uh, <laughs> in my day we thrashed at 300 BPM and then well we worked the fields in the morning. <laughs> we didn't use triggers and we liked it. <laughs> it's it's, yeah. un- it's we uh, couldn't it's- hear the bass drum and we didn't care. It was Mr. B's uncle, Uncle Bla- Uncle Bla- Uncle Fasty. Damn it! I like Uncle Blasty. <laughs> no, that Bla- could be the evil one, Uncle Blasty. Uncle Blasty is like Wario, and they're vying for 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 for, for control of the, of the family estate. <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> no, Ooh, no, no, this will surely. Ooh, oh, dearie! What character is that? Ooh. Monty, Monty B. <laughs> Well, it didn't. Well, it didn't work. Uh, uh, we'll be, uh, uh, but we'll be back with uh, we'll more be beekeeper after a word from our sponsor. Buzz, buzz. Great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie Levine. Do you play guitar? Well, let me tell you about Is the- your answer. Yes. <laughs> then you'll love the 2005 Ibanez Zyphos. The Ibanez Zyphos. Comes in two colors, black and gross. (laughs) (laughs) A neck heavy guitar. (laughs) That is going to head dive on you, your entire set. The two humbuckers. Buck hum like no other. (laughs) Do you like shark teeth? Well, then you'll love the shark teeth inlay on this neck. Take a look at that pristine uh, abalone. Abalone. Ass is what I thought you were going to say. If you can't decide on a color for your guitar, you can get the chameleon finish. (laughs) It goes... Which looks... Whatever that is. If you're a wishy-washy garbage yeah. person you can choose a wishy-washy it, garbage color it looks cool from your perspective but not from anyone else's perspective because <laughs> it's like when you're over it i feel like it's like green and cool but then when you're like away it's just like a brownie just like a brownie, just a brownie. i hate brownies yeah. would you guys ever have a well i guess that's wood i was gonna say would you ever have a brown guitar just like brown are you kidding me like painted but, but, brown yeah like not the wood like not just wood like grain the answer is yeah, yes. Yeah, like... Really? You'd have, like, a painted Any, brown guitar. I mean... I mean, I feel like Sunburst is basically brown, and I would probably have a Sunburst guitar. It's not it's necessarily not brown. brown it, uh, it, it, between like orange, orange and brown, yeah, the outsides is brown, and it goes to orange. But isn't that wood? Isn't that the brown. wood? No, it's not a stain. It's a paint. Sunburst. Why do I not... Whatever. Mm, yeah. References. Okay, so so you would have a brown guitar before you would have a yellow or a blue guitar. I didn't I mean, want to put yellow in it. I have a sort of bluish gray guitar. Yeah, Basically, be nice. dark, like a powder, like a powder blue, like a like a really light, like a baby like, blue. Yeah, like a baby That'd powder cool. blue. Yeah, hmm. like a Xiphos. I mean, an Ironbird. <laughs> it would look good on an Ironbird. Also, Ironbird just has so much surface area that, like, 
it would look cool probably in the blue. But I just always prefer wood grain, like pretty much 99% of the time. So I like brown. Dylan, what's your game? What's your fucking game, dude? Uh, well, it's just, it's a, it's someone hit us up on talk to beekeeper. Great. Someone hit us up unprovoked. Well, we've never released a thing with talk to beekeeper. Yeah, we have. What do you, Oh, no, we haven't. Um, so these were sought out, but you know, being, yeah, introduce it, introduce it a little bit. What is, what is talk to beekeeper? So if you want to talk to beekeeper, uh, you can email us at talk to beekeeper. Beekeeper. <laughs> talk, talk to beekeeper. Keep your hands off. Uh, no, talk to beekeeper at gmail.com. Easy to remember. Not that easy to say. Uh, and just, you know, if you just, if you just want to literally just ask us a question or, you know, um, that's a great way to get a hold of us. So, uh, a very good friend, Belisario Demusio, had a question for us. He's in the band Cattle Decapitation, and we are in a band together called Eucharist. Uh, he goes, Dear Beekeeper, with all live shows and touring closed down until further notice, how do you manage to find inspiration to continue music? What serves as motivation to progress and grow as individual musicians and as a band? Your beloved apiarist, Bell. Oh, hi, Bell. Thanks. That's so What adorable. a great and thoughtful question. Yeah. Can you say it again? Sure, I'll say the first part. <laughs> okay. With all, with all live shows and touring closed down until further notice, how do you manage to find inspiration to continue music? You have the floor. (laughs) The floor is open. Uh, That is a great question. And I've heard a lot of people say there's so many bands falling off the face of the earth kind of thing with the lockdowns and everything Mm -hmm. and the restrictions. But it's, I mean, it's not going to be like this forever. And we have so much time to ourselves that we could focus on you know, getting better at whatever we want to. So it's yeah. like, why not? It, it, it's like, <clears throat> you should take this time and say, this is the time for me to get better at, at whatever I need to. So then when stuff does open up, you haven't been doing nothing for a year. Yeah. Also like, just not having shows and, and, and things like that is doesn't negate the joy that I get from playing music with my friends. So it's like, even if it was forever and we only ever got to jam in our practice space forever, as much as that would bum me out, I would still do it and it would still be fun and inspire me to write new stuff to play with you guys. Yeah. And it's not like we can't release music and with the lack of live shows, I think people are wanting new music to be released and they would be stoked just to support bands releasing new music. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anything we're more inspired. Yeah. Yeah, Like sort of, uh, you know, backed into a corner, you know, you come alive, riff yourself out of theirs. I will say, like, when the quarantine first started, uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do guitar, I'm going to practice every night, like, you know, just, and I, I kind of fell off, you know, I was like, tough to stay motivated. Yeah. I was like giving myself so much pressure and I see a lot of people, they're like, don't get mad at yourself if you haven't, like, learned new skills during the quarantine or, you know, because you, you don't want to, like, put too much pressure on yourself because it's such a stressful time right now. And then Absolutely. to say, oh, well, you didn't do this. It's like, oh, you've wasted this opportunity, but it's like, actually, you should be, like, focusing on your mental health first. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Great question. 
<laughs> yeah, Thanks, it's Phil. it's it's crazy um, how sort of universal, uh, or how, how universally everyone is sort of like affected by the just sort of um, uncertainty and you know like how everyone is just a little bit sadder, like yeah. like every like like wherever you were to start off. Like Corona sort of like added like just a little hunk of sadness like onto everything, yeah. but we've all like take like taken on the exact same amount. So it's like everyone can sort of relate, and it's like yeah, I'm like trying to be in a band, but it's just like it's just fucking hard, man. Like, are, is it like that for you too? And everyone's like, yes, it is. It's exactly like that. Like you know, it, it's comforting that everybody is sort of uh, yeah. You I know. guess it also depends for some bands. It's like they really rely on being able to tour to even be a band, like being able to tour and make money is what enables them to continue that project at that level, you know? So I think it yeah. can be different depending on where your band is at. I mean, if you're a band that's just starting out, then yeah, this is, it, it might be good to have this time to like integrate and build up your foundation or for someone like us, who's like working, we're in a point where it's like, you know, our album didn't just come out a few months ago and now we're trying to push it. You know, we're like still in like the gestation and building phase of that. So it's like a good time for us. But someone else who like just released an album wants to like, you know, arguably for Mentor, for example, like if we wanted to try and push for that, it's like it's hard to maintain inertia on a release right now. So that is that is a tough thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. Also, we'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. I've also kind of stopped like I, I I feel like and I feel like maybe um my parents would like sort of push this, but it's sort of like every sort of new thing that you do or every like kind of like maybe like milestone you hit or every like thing you achieve. I feel like I used to look at it as like, okay, great, how do I take this thing that I have and like use it for like the best, you know, like how do I take advantage of this and like, you know, and it's like it's so stressful. Like I've now just sort of been like, cool. I was able to like accomplish that thing. Like, great. Like now I'm going to go accomplish another thing rather than like, okay, how do we like ride the fucking momentum of this? You know what I mean? Like where everything I do is like, you know what I mean? Like, like I wasn't able to like reward myself with doing anything. Cause it's like, okay, you did that now take this and take, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like trying to just, do you guys see what I'm kind of saying? Yeah. I think it's a balance. Like, for a release of an album, for example, like, you know, that's a huge milestone. And then there is like some responsibility on our part to like give that as much gasoline as possible to like get it moving and into people's ears and stuff. But there's also a point in that where it's like how many years down the road or whatever, where it's like, okay, either you've milked that stone for everything or even if you didn't, like you felt comfortable with the amount of uh, uh, effort put into that. And now it's important to like release that as it is. And like, you know, from your mind, I mean, and then like move on to another sort of focus, creative focus or something. Cause it's also like draining like social media, for example, like to just like have to work with that and like promotion and stuff is like not necessarily what I love about making music, you know? So it can be sort of draining, uh, you know, I, I got into music for the for the MySpace for the Facebook <laughs> for the that's Facebook just like, advertisements that was, yeah yeah you know yeah Dylan's hair used to be like this yeah remember Debbie and from the Wild only Thorn take berries? pictures like this <clears throat> yeah no you're like a you're like a scene kid yeah and but my it name was wasn't cool. Dylan it was um Debbie it was disastrous Dylan no or it Dylan was worse disaster. Dylan no, disaster it was worse it was worse it was it was Dill I call you Dill this is Dill. You look nice. It should be more like. Can you be sadder? It should be no. <laughs> <laughs> I got sunshine. <laughs> I prefer this. Cool. Um, what was it? Didn't uh, Bell have another part to his question? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, oh. Uh, what serves as motivation? <laughs> so just like him. To pro, uh, sorry, what serves as motivation to progress and grow as individual musicians and as a band? 
keeping up. Yeah. Trying and to be better. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily do this as much as I'd like to, but I always want to progress as a musician and I, you know, I, I don't want to stay stagnant. I want to keep getting better and better, you know? So that's always motivation. Just even being in a band because being in a band with you, you guys, I feel like you guys are pretty talented musicians and I, I want to keep getting better and, and grow to, you know, new heights so that we could be releasing more complex stuff and, you know. The Judas Priest method. <laughs> exactly. I'm definitely inspired by your guys' abilities and also like the way that y'all write. So it's like you don't necessarily write things that I would write. And so by pushing me to th like play things that are outside of my comfort zone or outside of my, you know, sort of normal imagination constraints, it that helps me. Is that a song name? Imagina imagination constraints. Imagination constraints? <laughs> um, sure, write it down. In see, do you see the reflection from my paper? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a phone. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so it's like I def that, that helps me grow is, is trying to realize your kind of vision as well as, you know, then also writing stuff for myself that maybe is, uh, I mean, I'm always, I guess, trying to do something that sounds a little different, but even with Fermenter, that's like pretty limited, you know, trying to do stuff that, feels like we're moving you know like and not just sort of sitting in a in a comfortable zone all the time yeah um i appreciate that and yeah. that was <clears throat> interesting <laughs> really um, sounds like you're yeah, lying no, no it, it was <laughs> i it was uh, interesting i was gonna like say something uh, like no, whatever. i didn't know what i was gonna say but that was essentially just what i was what i meant and then I decided to not. Um, but also, I remember on the last tour, the third tour, like being, I, I hadn't, at that point, I hadn't like practiced drums like on my own in the studio and maybe like a year. Like it was all just like with bands and like on tour, I just felt so shitty and like everything just felt bad and like, all my fundamentals were just like shit and like nothing like felt good. And it was like the first time I'd ever been like, shit, dude, like you're sucking. Like, like all the shit that used to be able to like fly on, like you're not nailing, like you're like, can't, you know what I mean? Like it, it just sucked. And this year has been like so much of just me in the studio, like working on stuff. And it's like worlds apart of, of just like, how much more comfortable I feel playing and the types of things I can do and like learning new things and attacking the part of my playing that I'm like the worst at, like just starting from the ground up again and just starting lefty and like all that shit. Uh, and it's like, I, I, it's almost like if that wouldn't have happened without, without COVID. I mean, like I was, I always wanted to start practicing more and I was going to anyways, but <laughs> COVID has absolutely helped facilitate. Yeah you know, just lots of playing time by myself. Yeah. So pretty much the answer to the question is what motivates us is the voice in our head telling us your shit. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, accurate. that's great. With that's that exactly right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exact. And we, but we, and we all have different relationships with that voice. I feel like, you know what I mean? Or like, or like that voice is that manifest voice. as like a different, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like in my world, it's, it's a rhino. He's like in the corner, how, how, how but like Wally sound? has like a, like an evil fairy on his shoulder. The rhino, it's a, it sounds like this. Um, Get back to work. <laughs> and is it like going to charge you if you don't? <laughs> yeah. It's going, and it's doing the, like the towing. Get back the to work. Yeah. Or, or I'm going to run into you and that's not like going to be good. Mine goes like this. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> the little fairy on your shoulder? Yeah, but it like runs like just, a dog. 
It's just constantly forces. running at you, but it's never like... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> what is your voice like, Callie? Tell us all about it. It's a naked me. Yeah? In my head. Okay. It's like, it's like this big. I don't it's know. Like, oh, you're you going to start fucking... What? <laughs> you, can, you can see it on my OnlyFans. And it's... No. <laughs> It's just the voice in my head. It's just, it's me. In your head. It's me telling me that I suck. Hi, me. Meet the real me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Dave Mustaine. Yeah, is it you with red hair? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if it was just you with Dave Mustaine hair. Oh, oh that would so be amazing. Good. Kirk Hammett on one side and Mustaine on the other. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Glad I, 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 that just got to hang right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh do we have any other did we answer all of bell's uh very yeah, i think we did and uh just thank you for reaching yeah. out thanks after buddy. i reached out um, thanks bell you know what really also inspired me before covid was watching bell play guitar yeah that's yeah. One that of those, always like, made me feel like a really shitty guitar player half half inspiring half extremely disheartening no but i i love i love watching amazing guitar players like yeah or you know just fucking shred and then it, it gives yeah. me so much inspiration he can literally do anything <laughs> on the guitar like he can do anything yeah. but also it's, it's like pretty- when we were tracking eucharist like he's still a it's interesting to see that he's like he's still a human being that like wants to nail yeah. these parts and like it's still he's still like we do i think like rights beyond even his abilities, you know what I mean? So it's like, he's still pushing himself to like play outside of his comfort zone as well. And yeah. also to make like catchy stuff, which is what makes you Chris really cool. Um, but like, yeah, it's so dexterous and he, he just often makes it look very easy, which is like the, you know, definitely the sign of an extraordinary player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember one time, like I was, I was watching him or something and I thought to my, I started like doing the math of like, Okay, like what are the chances he actually is the best guitarist in the world? Like, I was like, I was like, I was like, because I can't, you know, I, I started just being like, okay, like how many guitarists are there? What country? Like, I was like, because I honestly, I was like, I've seen lots of guitarists. Yeah. So I was like, and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone that could do it. He, you know what I mean? Dead or alive? Uh, uh, well, how are they going to play with their, if they're dead? In their legacies? No, I don't know. I'm just, I was just trying to add on to that. Yeah, no. I, I mean, he is in the upper echelon of extraordinary guitarists. I kind of wonder what the term best entails. You know what I yeah. mean? But I like where yeah. your head's at. I don't disagree with you. I'm just curious. Do you Our have any other will... questions? No, but this was small, inspired small by today. you. So you got you to gotta leave. You got to come up with the next segment. Feg- yeah. What, what was inspired Feg- by me? This the podcast. Ah, this us doing it right now. This episode. This episode is brought to you by Allie's idea. Yeah. Also, I'm down to like the little voice in my just head. Drop, like just literally just drop it. As is. Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like we'll yeah, be back. just like just throw sure. it out. Fuck it. Yeah, because it's good. Okay. So far, a bunch so of far gold it's good. In here. <laughs> so far, it's good. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Uh, hey, Ali, I was going to ask, what was the deal with that picture of Brett Michaels you sent us? Oh, oh you right. didn't click on it. You didn't. Oh, you didn't I had to open click it. on it. Click on it. Click on I it. I can't just be. I can't, I can't just be clicking on things. It's risky click of the day. Risky click. Yeah, but okay, okay. So, so for the listener, it's a picture of Brett Michaels. He's got a um, a microphone and his signature cowboy hat and affliction shirt, and he's looking very happy. And it says, "What's going on?" Is that right? Yeah. So I still don't understand. Because I thought maybe we were a- waiting for Dylan, and I oh I said, "What's going oh, on?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> but why Brett Michaels? Because that's it- his signature. That's his signature line. Oh, like it shows? Like, what's Have going you... on? No. <laughs> did you ever watch <laughs> Rock of Love with no. Brett Michaels? No, I'm aware of what it is. I did, but I don't I don't remember what you're talking about. That he, was his signature Anytime he would like talk to one of the women, if they were like 
crying in shambles, he'd be like, what's it going on? <laughs> and he would add that, uh, like, what's the, what's the going on? Yeah. What's it's just on? one word. What's the going on? I thought, going maybe on? It was, I thought it was like a Jar Jar Binks, um, you know, like, like a, what's it going on? I feel like yeah. that's Misa. Yeah, Misa, when he's talking about himself. But he was saying, if he was saying what's a, he would be saying what's a. Anyways. Uh, saying, I, I, li- I literally <laughs> thought, okay, we don't need to. <laughs> I thought Jar Jar Binks was actually like this. Okay, segment, segment. Segment, hit us. I, I have one. No. I don't have a thing. I'm trying to think. I'm going on the fly. All right. We're releasing this as is. So oh, we got we to gotta make this snappy. Okay. Oh, also, we did have a break oh. that we have to cut Oh, my cut God. Out. I do want to say one thing. We, we do have to what now? Nothing. <sighs> now there's all this pressure. What's it going on? <laughs> I was just saying we do have a break that we need to cut out. That's it. Go ahead, Allie. Okay. It's fine. Wally will take care of it. It's fine. Allie, just go. <laughs> we're just going to drop it. <laughs> I watched a movie last night mm-hmm. called Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. Uh-huh. Came out in 2015 and it was so bad. Thank you. And that's was all it I wanted an to say. action movie? No, it was a man at and home his and his his wife and his children go out for like a weekend trip but he had to stay at home for work like to work at home riveting and then two young women knock on the door go on they're like caught in the rain Mm -hmm. and they need yeah they need help they need a jump and the story goes from there wow i really have zero idea where it's going from there so they're like con artists so they like hold them up or something spoiler alert it's a whole thing I haven't I'm seen not. it. I'm just. No, I'm saying whatever she's about to say. I'm not... But she spoiled it by saying that it's a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, that's if you watch the trailer. This actually sort of segues into my idea for a, a segment, if you guys are interested, which is uh, 15 second reviews um, where um, we each do a review of a movie, but we only have 15 seconds to review it. Uh, like we have to tell what it, tell the story of it, you, or however you, no, you want to review it. it is up to you. Yeah, it's like you can tell the brief synopsis if you want. You don't have a lot of time though, so you kind of got to knock it out if you're going to do a synopsis. This plus sounds how like what fun. You think about it. So okay. my idea is to do, um, in particular, I want to start with the uh, first Alien trilogy, um, and so we'll each go around and say what we think about Alien. And then we'll each go around and do. Aliens okay, but also I feel thing. like you shouldn't tell us what the movie is until oh. right before, because now we're thinking about it. That's all fine. This you can time, think you about it. I mean? I mean, that's that's. I mean, okay. I guess I hear you. That's fine. All right. Well, f- I have some other ideas. So wait, I've only or seen two Alien movies. Oh, okay. You never saw Alien Three? No, I've only seen Alien oh. and Aliens. Oh, you should watch Alien Three. It's like David Fincher. Anyways, all right. Well, let's just jump into it so we don't have too much time. We'll just start with Alien. How about that? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna start up a timer and Dylan, review Alien for us. You have 15 seconds. Tell me when it starts. Starting. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Give me a three, two, You one. had started. Three, two, one, go. Alien, it's an excellent movie, 1979. It looks better than anything made today. Uh, the direction is great. The characters are believable. You like everything. It has a very Five scary seconds. villain. And uh, watch it. It's awesome. Thanks, Dylan. That was great. I know right? nothing about aliens. <laughs> no, you talk about Alien. I don't really remember. Really, I'm shocked. I mean, here. I know. I. I know the general. Right, about, do, why don't you review uh, uh, your Keanu? Wait, 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 but don't tell her the movie until <laughs> right before the clock. Well, the time if starts. I had done that just now, she would have been like, "I don't know what that movie is." All right. Well, then we then we move. You know, it's the same diff. Okay. I'll 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 blindside you, Dylan. You you need the blindside apparently. You need the, the double black diamond of 15 second reviews. All right. And then say go when in the time starts. All right. Well, it's Allie's turn. Okay. <laughs> um, so Allie, why don't you review Haunting of Bly Manor? You have 15 seconds on the clock uh, in three, two, one, go. There's a nanny that comes to this manor and there's two children and they don't have parents so she needs to look after them. You have five seconds to tell us what you think about it. It's happening, and it's okay. 
<laughs> awesome. 15 seconds. Thank you. Very okay. well done. You know the difference between a summary and a review, right? Well, he said we could all summarize it. it. She reviewed it. She nailed the review. It's okay. <laughs> all right. It um, is okay. It is okay. I, I think it's a little better than okay. All right. So I guess I'll tee myself up. I'm going to do Aliens. How about that? Three, two, one, go, Wally. Uh, Aliens is the sequel to Alien. Um, it's done by James Cameron instead of uh, Scott Ripley. What's his name? Scott Ridley? Ridley Scott. Ridley. Uh, and it suffers from that. It really should have just been Ridley Scott. It's basically an action movie. I don't like it as much as the first one. Uh, four out of ten Bs. I, All right, cool. The next time it's yours turn, Wally, I'll I'll turn. time you and I'll give you a question. Okay, I meant to say that we should be giving it number of bees out of ten. By the way, <laughs> also uh, I really don't mean that it was only four out of ten bees. I should have said like eight out of ten bees, and the first one's nine out of ten bees. Anyways, I'm outside of my fifteen second limit, so here we go. Uh, Dylan, right. Alien Three in three, two, one, go. Uh, I I don't remember it. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Um, I remember renting it when I was younger and hating it, so I never saw it again. Seconds, you missed your chance. Okay, so we're gonna do for Dylan. How about we do? uh, I'll give you a softball uh, knockoff in three, two, one, go. Knockoff is the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Scenes start and end, and you don't know what lit led from anything. I wasn't even certain of the main character's job <laughs> by seconds. the end of it. Uh, also, he John Claude Van Damme looks worse than Rob Schneider. In that <laughs> movie. Bees. Out of bees. <laughs> you didn't do the bees. Oh yeah, how many bees out of ten, Dylan? No, yeah, for- Zero. It's the Zero. worst. <laughs> I said it was the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah. We need our bees count. All right, that was great. All right, Ellie. Um, Dylan, do you want to tee up Allie this time? Sure. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I've got a movie for you, and it is. That's the name of the segment, by the way, is I've got a movie for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, Allie, your movie is Con Air. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. It's really good. Nick Cage looks hot AF. <laughs> he's got long hair. There's one scene. He's wearing a wife beater. He's all sweaty. His muscles are glistening. He, there, he's like jumping through the air in one part, and there's like an explosion. He's so Time. hot. <laughs> 10 out of 10 bees. <laughs> that was hilarious. Was he not wearing a wife beater throughout that movie? <laughs> No, I think he's in like a jumpsuit. I can't believe you didn't even mention Dave Chappelle or Steve Buscemi in that. <laughs> in those 15 <laughs> seconds. They're pushed to the back of my mind. <laughs> because the only thing to talk about is his glistening muscles and hair. 10 out of 10. He looked amazing. <laughs> mm. I love it. And his accent, mm-hmm. terrible. Didn't matter. Yeah, pretty bad. Don't talk, don't talk. Love and that. And then it's, how do I live without oh, really? is that you? Wow. Give me back the bear. Um, All right, Wally, I'll tee you up again. Great. Or I'll tee you up for the first time. Tee me up for the first time. Uh, You have a movie for me, I hear. I have a movie for you, Uh and it is... um, uh, Okay, I got it. All right. Um, Your movie is Terminator 2, 3, 2, 1, go. Literally one of the greatest movies ever created, again by James Cameron, but this time he actually nails it. Um, A wonderful story, basically about a kid who needs a dad and his dad is a robot. Uh, Sarah Connor, one of the greatest uh, female protagonists in all of cinema. Uh, Great beginning, middle, and end. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10 Bs. (laughs) All right, this is fun. Let's keep going. Okay, Dylan, The Rock. Wait, do you have a timer? Here, I got you on the timer. Three, two, one, go. Okay, sometimes you like a movie just because it takes the biggest swing in the entire universe. The first (laughs) 10 minutes is really great, and they literally hold up an entire universe hostage, and they point a gun at San Francisco. Uh, It's got Sean Connery. It's got Ed Harris. It's got uh, Nick Cage. What else do I need to say? Nine, nine, eight, ten. (laughs) (laughs) Ninety-nine, eight, ten. What did you say? (laughs) 
I, I literally said nine out of eight. And I was like, I mean, 10. It was nine out of 10. Uh, 99, eight, 10 Bs uh, for nine, Kanye. Nine. Also, did they hold the whole universe hostage? No, the rock. not Kanye. That's just a thing that comes out of my mouth when I don't know what oh, to okay. say. I just the go scale big. is it? They hold a u- whole universe hostage of San Francisco. But also, <laughs> yeah, that uh, was a bad knockoff kind of did that too. Oh, Remember. Knockoff held an hour and 45 minutes hostage of my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Who's this for? So oh, I just went. Allie, I think. Okay. Um, I just need to think of a good one. Um, I don't know a lot of movies. Okay, here we go. You ready? Your movie. I have a movie for you, and this movie is Green Room in 3, 2, 1, go. It's good. It's stressful. Don't watch it if you're on tour in a van alone in a weird city. Uh, yeah. Five seconds. Uh, five out of, no, a seven out of ten. Bees. Bees. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, Allie, do you want to team me up? Dylan, you want a time? Sure. Okay. Just say go. Hold on. I don't know. Hold on. Let me... Tee me up, Allie. Uh, so I'm review the shit out of this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Cobra. Go. Three, two, one. Uh, another one of the greatest movies ever made, except this one is actually bad, but it's good. Uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, his daughter gets taken hostage. Is this not what? No. Cobra? Oh, I'm thinking of Commander. Come on, or Commando. Commando. I'm thinking of Commando. Cobra's really good for Sylvester Stallone. I don't know how much time I have left, but Done. it's still worth a while. Oh. I was just imagining I'm a world that- where you have an accent and you're saying, <laughs> you're trying to say Commando, but it comes out Commander. Hey, put on Commander. <laughs> Commander. Uh, I give that review zero out of 10 Bs because <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think of the right movie. Uh, okay. Um, Damn it. Okay. Cobra was good, but I barely remember it. I know. It was a long time ago. Do I need to tee someone up? Oh, um, no, you need to be teed up. Um, All right. I'll give you one. All right, Dylan. Let's do uh, The Truman Show in 3, 2, 1, go. Very interesting movie. Uh, Jim Carrey in a comedic but also very serious role. It's a movie about life. It's a movie about how you see yourself in the world around you. Three and seconds. it's a good one and seven out of ten Bs and it's <laughs> a thinker. <time. laughs> I accidentally only gave you a three second warning. <laughs> so like, whatever. It's like and it's good I haven't, and- <laughs> I haven't been giving you guys warnings. The warnings are fun. It, because also then it interrupts them and it kind of fucks, fucks with their flow. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right, all right yeah. Wally, I got one for you. All right. It's my turn. Oh, it's Allie's turn, though. Oh, okay. Then, Allie, I've got one for you. Your movie is Wayne's World in three, two, one, go. Really padding those three. There's some guys. Oh, it's good. And if you like, <laughs> if you like rock and roll, you should watch it. And it's uh, there's some hot babes and uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> There's some guys. Oh, and it's good. <laughs> oh, and it's good. There's some hot babes. What hot babes? There's like one hot babe, arguably. Oh wait, was that the second one? <laughs> I don't know. There's what hot are you babes. talking about? There's hot I mean, babes. There's hot there. babes. Yeah. I mean, if you consider Carrera. Garth the babe. Oh, I guess there's Garth's. Who is that? The 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 foxy lady. Well, I was trying Beck and not sale. to. Beck and sale. No, no, no. I, uh, Kate Beckinsale from Basinger. Underworld. Basinger, Basinger. <laughs> Kim Basinger. Basinger? Allie, what were you saying? Sorry. Because uh, I was just going to give a synopsis of it. There's some guys. Oh, it's good. You're like, fade in. <laughs> we have a house on a street. Yeah. Yeah. Sunny it Illinois. Says music by. <laughs> Produced. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Team me up, Scotty. All right. Uh, okay. This is a really weird movie. I hope you've seen it. Oh, no. All right. Your movie is Shanghai Noon in three, oh, my God. two, one, go. 
Uh, yet another movie where Jackie Chan carries the whole thing. Um, I guess some people think it's funny. It's probably mostly problematic. Uh, but Jackie Chan always rules and is basically great in anything he's ever done. Watch it for the stunts. Time. Seven out of ten bees. Jeez. Oh, I, got a, I got a good one. Seven also, out of you 10? didn't mention wow. Owen Wilson. I, 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 I covered the Jackie Chan I needed to in 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, let me get a timer. <laughs> Dylan. Yes. Your movie is Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Three, mm-hmm. two, one, go. I love that movie. Uh, the music is good. The comedy is good. I hate musicals, but I love that album. Uh, it's just really funny. It's a fun story. It's very them. It's Five you're only, you're only gonna get it in that movie. So check it out. Tenacious D rocks. Nine out of ten. <laughs> uh, nine out of ten. What? Units <laughs> of, of, of B, B measurements. Of B. <laughs> nine out of ten cc's of B. <laughs> BBs. <laughs> CC. <laughs> okay. Um, who needs to be teed up? Wally? Uh, no, I feel like you what? need to be teed up, uh, Dilson. I just won. It's, he just won. It's me. You just... Oh. All right, Allie. I can't believe you. Uh, All right, Allie. <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm gonna your movie... Allie, you're... Okay. No, I'm joking. Go ahead, please. I was just fucking around. Your movie is First Blood Part One. Three, two, one, go. Just just a heart wrenching, action packed adventure. Not really (laughs) action movie. There's a great dirt bike chase up a mountain. He's (laughs) how many bees? Uh, mm, I mean, I love the movie. I'd give it 10 out of 10 bees. Fantastic. Yeah. We're going to have a little cool. like sound effect, B sound effect for when it's 10 out of 10. What's a, oh, like a, vroom. yeah, exactly. A why don't we, why don't we, shit. I think this might be a good place to, to, to Let's start wrapping it. it up. Yeah, it was sure. good. That was very good. Um, anything closing with some plugs? You guys got anything to plug? I mean, we're going to have a playthrough come out one day. <laughs> yes, we will. The Veg- we're going to have a Vegeta there. playthrough coming out uh-huh. one day. Mm-hmm. 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 And I'm uh, going to record it tonight. Ooh. Yeah, keep this inertia going. You're in record mode. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got to wait till the room gets dark. Because the light... The like, money is sunlight in your metal video. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll plug the sign man trailer is coming out soon. Saw a oh, rough cool. of it the other day and it definitely got me stoked on it. Um, and i um, working on the trash access album. That'll hopefully be out soon. Don't forget to check out the new fermenter album came out in August continuance. Um, go check out our, um, beekeeper youtube subscribe and see the previous ver- uh, episodes of bees company um check out our interview on no one likes us podcast check out our interview on the podcast we did last week called uh something cult i have it uh well we'll be posting uh, follow us on instagram if you don't already you probably do and that's how you got here but we'll certainly be putting up they'll probably be putting updates yeah. up on there uh about our various uh interviews and shows and stuff like that and by shows i mean not live shows <clears throat> um and uh, let us know what you want to see on these press uh, cult on podcasts. these Beast Company podcasts. Press yeah, cult. so check us out on the Press Cult podcast. Uh, we had a great interview with them. It's up on Spotify and iTunes and all that good stuff. Um, let us know what you want to hear on these things. If there's anything else, don't forget to write in to the talk to beekeeper metal at Gmail. Is that correct? Talk to beekeeper. No, it's just talk to beekeeper. You want to talk to beekeeper? Then you talk to beekeeper. Email talk to beekeeper at gmail.com and we'll answer your questions yeah. live on the air. 
And you can also and give us, you know, fun things that we can do. Yeah. Let us know if you want us to play any beachers um, and uh, any games like we do on here. Um, if there are any albums specifically you want us to compare or movies you want us to review. And we will maybe do that. We'll. <laughs> Great. This has been awesome. Thanks a lot for tuning into Bees Company. I want to thank my co-hosts, Dylan Marks and Ali Levine. Uh, and uh, we are Beekeeper. Thank you, Adam and, Wallach. <laughs> thank you to me. And we're we are beekeeper, beekeeper. And we are... Taking the world, guys. Ah, take two. Here we, go. Here we go. Here we go. That's Let's, not, how we, that's not how we do it. That's not how oh, we do it. Oh, okay. Uh, There's no... This is gone. Oh, this is gone. No more fingers. Okay. We are Beekeeper. Allie, and Allie we're it. taking... The... World... <laughs> Nice. All right. Cool, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have a good one.